it's literally three in the morning and I have to go to the airport right now. Christmas vlog, yay! We're in Houston! It's what, noon? We're going to church at 1.32. We have got our dog, Lucy. She just lost her sister. Um, adopted sister. She's going through grief right now. We all are grieving the loss of Daisy, RIP. Um, she's not doing too well. Lucy, how are you feeling? She looks good right now, but she's She not looks really fine. How are you? Yeah, she does. How are you coping, my love? If she's not held for two seconds, she'll start screaming. Crying. This is true. I, as you know, just had COVID, but we're on the mend. And I have my special little isolation table. Do you want to say hi to the vlog, Dad? Okay. Isolation table. Rest of the fam's over here. Ooh. Hi, ma'am. Who made you so cute? Hello. So I am in Houston, Texas with my family right now and it's Christmas Eve. I am just getting ready to go to church. We always go to like the 2 p.m. Um, like kids church service because we always host our family on Christmas Eve. So we've got to like go to church early before getting ready for family to come over. I flew in this morning around 6 a.m. Went from Raleigh to Atlanta and Atlanta to Houston and had a good experience overall, except my bags were delayed. So I don't have any of my stuff right now, including all of my Christmas presents for my family. So that's not fun. I'm gonna be borrowing some clothes from my mom and like makeup from my sister. So that is our situation right now. Trying to make the most of it, but it's definitely very frustrating. I literally am wearing an old sorority sweatshirt and my mom's yoga pants right now because we have nothing. I just showered and like washed my hair. I'm gonna blow dry it right now and then go hunt down some makeup and clothes. Okay, can we talk about the fact that I did self tanner the other day? This is my face right now and these are my hands. Really killing it on the skin tone matching game right now. My mother's clothes for Christmas since I have none. Tell me what happened at church. <laughs> it was a little traumatizing. <laughs> there you go. Slimed. We're leaving and it's only like five million oh, people. Sorry. And this poor little kid just leans over and just <laughs> loses it. Loses his breakfast and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Dad and I were right in the crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, ah, did, did it explode? Oh my gosh, oh, really. Do we think it was a food lot poisoning too. or was he just very oh, overwhelmed honey. with the spirit? I don't know the kid or what he did. I know, but we have to have I a have theory. No this is my favorite ornament ever since I was a little girl and I get to put her on the tree myself every year, even if I'm staying somewhere else. So let's find a spot for Miss Mouse. It sounds like McMouse. McMouse. <laughs> <laughs> Miss McMouse. <laughs> <laughs> My mom has another version of these pants that are like this purpley maroon color. I feel like it's just more festive than the brown I was wearing. And my mom is wearing almost the exact same outfit, so we are actually matching. I'll insert like a picture of us or something, but yeah, much more festive. We are almost ready for Christmas Eve. We're having both sets of grandparents over and my uncle. 
and I'm just gonna show you guys our Christmas setup. So I've got my isolation table right here, of course. Then we have my mom's beautiful table she set for everyone else. So pretty, she always does so much hard work on these tables. All the beautiful flower arrangements and then little ornaments. And then we've got over here, these cute little mugs that my mom got for everyone. It's got everyone's name and then nicknames, which is adorable. Oh, how are you feeling, mom? Hi. I'm feeling good. Good, you did a great job. We're matching, look at the fit. Mom looks super cute. <laughs> Hi, love. You're gonna be okay, you have to be quiet during dinner. Quiet, shh. Molly is giving us Wednesday Adams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is Christmas morning. It's like 9.30 a.m. I am still so tired, y'all. I slept two hours the night before, so I could honestly sleep all day. But we're gonna go downstairs, open presents, get some coffee and breakfast, and spend Christmas morning with the family. I also still don't have my luggage from yesterday, so I'm still wearing my sorority sweatshirt and these like cute Christmas pajamas that my mom got all of us. So that might be what we live in for the next couple days. Stay tuned. Merry Christmas. Well, I can see what Santa brought us. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, Santa. All right, man. That lives. Hello friends, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas day, probably about 4 p.m. I'm trying to vlog from my bed, literally. Also my new piercing that I got in DC, it hurts to lie on it, so I have to like position my ear weirdly. There we go, hi. I am exhausted. I love the holidays, but I feel like I get so wiped out. And after traveling all day yesterday and not sleeping a lot, and the stress of losing my bags, which did arrive this morning, as I'm sure you saw in the montage. It was just a lot, and I'm so thankful to be home, because I know so many people didn't get to make it home for Christmas this year, but I just, I'm so tired. And I think it's like this month of craziness, of travel and not sleeping well, and like, I feel like I just didn't take good care of myself health-wise this month. I just do not feel great and don't feel like myself and so I'm really ready for the new year and really just like tomorrow to get back into a routine and like get a good workout in and I don't know wash my face really well and eat good quality food and fruits and vegetables and just feel like a normal healthy human again. Our Christmas yesterday and today it was it was good and it was sweet but Honestly, with our dog passing a couple days ago and my aunt who passed last year, it's just been weird and it's hard when you're an adult and like hard things happen and it just doesn't feel the same as when you were a kid and so I feel like I'm kind of reckoning with that a little bit this year. So if you had a kind of a weird, hard, more sad Christmas, I feel you and I'm with you in that for sure. So yeah, it was good, but we're tired and I think I'm going to read some more of my book. I don't know where it went. I hope you had a good Christmas. I hope you're resting and looking forward to the new year, 2023. Yeah? I don't know how to end this. <laughs>